the idea of changing the color of the eyes, and that again is going to be a little bit too much. You can come up here and uh, do it by removing the color that was already in whatever you're working on, eye, car, product, t tennis shoes, whatever. You remove the color by taking the saturation out and then adding the tint here. So that is giving us our changing of the eye colors. Yes? Um, once you have a mask set up like on those eyes right now, what if, what if you wanted to expand the feather of that? Can you do that after the mask is on or does it have, have to be done it. pre? Okay. You have to do it. Now again, that's a really good point that this entire thing here, let's go ahead and take that pin. Um, now, well, the thing with the, the new radial filter, it's a perfect circle. Now her eyes are, are quite open, but usually your eyelid's gonna come over it. I could probably get away with messing around with the radio filter because her eyes are so open, but still this is a, a, a use for the adjustment brush. I want to come up here. But keep in the back of your mind the, uh, the radial filter. And it could be that we use the radial filter um, to change that uh, pupil. Right, well, we're here. Let's go ahead. So I'm going to come up here with the radial filter. And basically the concept with the radial filter is you want to change the middle tone values and get them real dark without affecting the highlights. In other words, there's oftentimes a specular highlight that's going over a um, pupil. So let's actually go in a little bit closer. And we're going to start in the center. And I'm going to come out, I'm going to hold down the shift key so it's a perfect circle. I've done no adjustment yet, so I'm going to take my exposure down, oops, Remember, we're going to invert that mask. As a default, it starts off outside. It's a vignette tool, basically. So now I'm going to take that um, exposure down. I'm going to take that feather down. And what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to match the softness of the photograph. Okay? So I can come up here. And this is what's great about this particular technique right here is you can do it after the fact. If you do a brush exactly like you were asking and you change it, you're going to have to repaint it. If it was too hard or too soft, you're going to have to repaint it. So I've got that radial here. I'm uh, darkening it up. I'm going to hide that over there. And I want those highlights okay, to stay light. In other words, I want to be able to see the highlights that are below while taking the middle tone values and taking them dark. Now, the thing is, is that pupils really aren't pure black. You know, they, they because again, just like the um, glare on my glasses, there's a natural diffusion of the light. The ambient light is hitting the surface of the eye. So it's not going to be, doesn't need to be pure black. Let's go ahead and we're actually going to um, scale that up and reposition it. I'm gonna, we're going to open up that eye even more so. Another thing to remember is oftentimes, depending upon where the camera is in relationship to the iris, they're not always perfectly centered. And that's a little disconcerting. Sometimes you, you start to increase the size of the pupil and you kind of go, so. Just keep that in mind. Let's move that back over here. And I just increased the size. We're going to make that a little bit harder. You can see that I still have that specular highlight, and I can still see that in there. We can even take our, our contrast up there. I'm taking that clarity up as well. That's ex ex exaggerating that edge contrast so I can still see basically the horizon line inside the eye. So I've taken the iris and opened it up, which we all like, right? Uh, beady eyes, right? Beady eyes are beady for a reason and not liked for a reason. And the cool thing here, though, is that I've got the exact size, I've got the settings, I've got the softness, I've got everything. And now what can I do to duplicate a pin? First time we've been able to do this is Lightroom 5. You hold down your Option key and Command key at the same time and drag, or Control-Alt on the PC, and I'm actually making a duplicate. So now what I'm going to do is move this one with all the settings intact over here, which I'm still able to see that specular highlight, zoom out, hide those pins. Okay, Now that's kind of scary. You see how that's dark, a little bit too dark? So again, I'm going to take that exposure on both of those. I don't need them, so I'm going to click on both of those. Okay. And there is our before, after, before, after.